Welcome to another wonderful time with God on Glorious Morning Shower. This is a new day for you. And this day will be your day in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, we'll be considering overcoming the spirit of heaviness. God said that your word, the word for your shower today is, say, think on this thing. Think on this thing. So, a man is not completely void of thinking. Because if you don't think, how do you reason? We all know the power of your Im- of our imagination. Romans chapter 12, verse 2 says, Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that comes with thinking. The power of your imagination that comes with thinking. So what is God now saying now that we should think about if we must think? Our problem is that we don't follow the rule. I've had a man of God, you know, humorously say, God didn't say you should not drink. He said, but if you must drink, you must be drunk with the Holy Ghost. When he said it the first time, R. W. Samba, that is his name. He said, a man saw me sometime. He said, I don't like you guys who are Christian because you don't drink. He said, who told you we don't drink? We drink more than you. We drink, but just that we don't drink beer. We drink, we are always drunk in the Holy Spirit. He said, oh, okay. You don't smoke. He said, who told you we don't smoke? The fact there is that we produce the fire. You smoke it. You see? So, you know, there are guidelines. The way he told us a few days ago that we should wash our thoughts doesn't mean we should not think. He said, if you must think, Think on these things, which you know where I'm going to already. In the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, it says, Finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Think. You see, he listed dozers of things that you must think of. Did you see failure there? Did you see your past there? Did you see about your enemy must die? No. That is why I always advise Christians the energy you are exerting to kill your enemy, devil don't die. <laughs> you don't die. You see, put those energy. This energy is a resource. Time, energy, money, they are all resources. Ah, I waste my time on oh, my enemy. That, 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 that. No. If there must be anything you must think of, what are those things? Things that are honest, things that are of good report, things that are of that are lovely, whatsoever things that are just, whatsoever things that are true, things that have virtue. These are the things you must think of. Oh, some enemies are coming from somewhere. I am divinely protected because as mountains surround Jerusalem, so shall the Lord round about his people. I'm protected. God, lead me to my enemy to kill me. It's not possible. Somebody once asked me because, you know, if not recently that I started reducing some of my trees, I go for mission every weekend. I cover Four, five hours journey every weekend. I go Friday, Tuesday, and back. Sometimes I go from there to another place. And somebody now told me, he said, this your journey is too much. I hope you are praying. I said, I don't pray as much as you pray. 
am I going to drink? No. Am I going to humanize? No. Am I going to steal? No. What am I going to do? I'm going on mission. And you think God will allow the devil to kill me on the road to mission? No, no, it's not possible. My obedience for that assignment has secured my protection already. That's what some people don't know. So you can see my imagination. There was a day I was going and I got to Lokoja and I just stopped by to just visit a family. And God held me there. Held me there. We were just in talking, just in talking till 8 in the evening. 7, 8 in the evening. And all of a sudden, I told them, I'm going, I'm going for the another two hours journey to Ida. He said, you are going to Ida, you came here since 4 or 5, and you didn't go. And he, ah, it's not safe for you to go now. I said, and when I passed the road entering Ida, I got the news that two hours ago, there were all these kidnappers on the road. I have escaped. He kept, he held me. What held me there, I don't know. But we were just to the extent that we, I forgot the job. At the time I remember, oh, Ah, time is gone. Who did that? I said, God preserve these people. So you that you are wasting time. Oh, my enemy on the road. Oh, men must die. Oh, the enemy on the road that are there to kill me. You see, you are divinely protected. These are the things that you should engage your image, engage your thinking on things that are good. Did you hear enemy in those things you should think about? Did you hear enemy there? No, nothing called enemy. Are you not saying there are no enemies? There are. I pray that God should use the kind of pastors I'm seeing today. I don't want to call names of those pastors, but they are lovely, genuine pastors that I'm hearing from these days. You know, they are upcoming pastors. They are not the big names, names, you know. I pray that God should use them to sanctify and bring another brand of Christianity into our cycle. Because the one we were born into, the one that we got born again into, has been diluted. I must tell you, it has been diluted. That was what God saw and he called me into ministry. One day I was just praying about it. Why this is going? The time we evangelized so much has been captured by this fake prophet, all sorts of things. You are the one that killed your mother and your mother is killing you and all sorts of rubbish. And God told me, if you that know and have the truth left the stage, Somebody else will pick the stage, rise up and take that stage back. That was what brought me to ministry. This was one of the forces that brought me to take the stage of the true gospel back for God. This gospel of enemy, 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 enemy. We have exerted too much energy on it. Message of emotion. That's not message of God. The message of Jesus is the message of the kingdom. See, in this world you will have tribulation, but in me you will have peace. So why should I be in him and I'm still having a tribulation? No, that is not God. If I'm truly in him, no tribulation for me. I pray for you that this understanding be deeply rooted in you in Jesus' name. Verse 9 of that scripture says, Those things which ye have both learned and received and has heard and has seen in me, do it, and the God of peace shall be with you. You see, all these things I have listed, and the one you have seen me doing, who is talking? This is Apostle Paul talking to the Christian of the Philippians. He said, those things I have listed are the things you have seen me doing. He said, which ye have both learned, and have received, and have heard, and have seen in me, do it. And the God of peace shall be with you. I pray today that the God of peace will be with you. As you begin to, you know, sanitize your thinking, the things you think about, lovely things, lovely family, lovely children, lovely home, beautiful work, end and glorious day. These are the thoughts that will come to your mind. Any and any coming, God will take care of them. Any fire down there, it will quench. And that's not my work. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will keep you. The Lord will keep your thought from today. To so think right in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and glorious morning shower. It's a new day for you and it's going to end gloriously for you in Jesus' name.